Z conversation. Um, DUDS is the student-run organization that works with the theater department to produce all our main stage shows, and we're kind of like the voice for the students within the department. Um, I'm usually there most of the day, every day, being on DUDS board um, and just being taking classes and being involved with productions. I would say like at least five hours a day I'm in the dojo, like on a, on a slow day. Um, I. I feel like I'm always at the dojo, and of course I live on the other side of campus, so like walking back and forth is really fun. But um, I, I mean, just random rehearsals for classes or for pips, or you know, if you're in a main stage, um, and then I, I don't know. I always feel like I'm there. It's like, oh, where's yeah. Miss Asia? She's at the dojo. On Duds board, which is like the student administration of Duds. <laughs> Uh, this year I'm the director of memberships, so I'm in charge of subscriptions and, um, Next year, stuff. drum roll, please. I'm gonna be chair! Yes. So that's exciting. Um, so, yeah, so that's how I'm involved. I run it. Um, Spending time at the dojo, yeah. it's like, like, especially coming in as incoming freshmen, it's like, the people who spend the time there are the people that other the upperclassmen get to know, and the people that are invited places. And it's like it like you're integrated into that community if you show that you're genuinely interested and you are willing to put in effort in an effort to like be a part of the community. That's the theater department. Let's talk about how you like it. Can we talk about how you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, so as you like it was really so cool. Good. I love that. Neither of us were involved even at all. Take a step back and see what everybody else was doing and how they were growing. Yeah, it was really cool. I it was love a beautiful that show. Oh my goodness. And it was it was such a good example of the work we do because it married tradition with innovation and student input. Which yeah. Which is like exactly it was what so, we're about. It was so creative, oh, but it was so it was so universal. And the president of the university like freaked out about it. He loved it. Lost his mind. Um, okay, so I'm a dance minor. Um, and the program, it's it's, yeah, it's part of the theater program, and all majors are required to take at least one dance course um, with Cheryl Clark, who is the professor and kind of overseer of the dance program. Um, each semester there's a choreography class that students sign up to take, and usually it's about 10 to 12 students who take that course. Um, and at the beginning of the semester there's a big, huge cattle call audition that, you know, encourages anyone who's interested at all in dancing to come and audition for the dance show and the choreographers will select students to be in their pieces that they create and develop during the semester and at the end of the semester there's a dance performance. Um, in the fall it's two choreographers, they work together on a piece, in the spring it's individual choreographers. Um, you can be on up to three pieces. Um, additionally, you don't have to have any dance experience. I came, I had never taken a formal dance course in my life and I got into the dance show and then did it again and then took um, movement to the, for the musical stage last fall and was just like, I have to minor and I choreographed this spring. Miss Kathleen over here is the creative force behind this. Well, no, I'm, I'm a... You wrote uh, our season. I wrote one whatever. play in this season and one next season also. So. I um, am a plays and process producer, which I'm sure you'll find out about later. Um, but so, yeah, I help with PIP and I write a lot. And I auditioned for Main Stage like the first time I got here, and um, I wasn't cast in anything, but I was called back, and it really hurt my face in there. But a way to definitely get in to have people see you, rather, is to do PIPs. Um, that's how I got a lot of recognition, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really chill, and the way we we kind of revamped them now since I started doing them, but the audition Sunday night at 9 o'clock, you stay there for an hour, hour and a half audition, you read different times, and then you perform bare set, bare essentials mm -hmm. on a Wednesday. And uh, it's just a nice way, because every a bunch of theater majors go to them, and it's just a really nice way to definitely get involved and get people to see your face because you know you get into a main stage you know you cross your fingers and take a jump and hopefully you get in and sometimes it works out great and sometimes it doesn't but a pip is a really awesome way to just have people see what you can do and work and you're reading from your script and it just says a lot about you as an actor 
being having directors and other people see you in a less mm -hmm. in a bare bones thing and right. have them see you be able to go up and do a main stage. So it's definitely a way to get your face out there. I became interested in um, Pips because um, it was a kind of a low key thing, you know, not a full scale Duds production, but it was still a really easy way to get involved in the theater department. Um, really simple tryouts, really, really relaxed, um, and again, just a really easy way to get involved um, on any aspect of it, whether you're interested in acting or directing or stage managing or, um, or even writing. So that is a really good idea. Semester on tech staff, um, and uh, it's it's helped out a lot, um, not only in my own design um, design work, but also um, with other people who are designing. Um, they, it's it's given um, it gives me a chance to, to do what I love um, and help and help teach other people do to to do what I love. Um, so that's been really for, I, I've been really fortunate in being able to have a job that that allows me to share one of the things that I love most, which is designing, building, that kind of thing, with other people who may not be as experienced or as interested in it. I think that next season it's great because because we have Lisa Crone coming. I feel like every year the quality of the work just gets better and better. It's like really exciting because you're like, wow, like, you know, last year things were really great and this year things are even better. What's it going to be like our senior year? A mix. A good we mix. We have vaudeville and neorealism mm -hmm. and uh, Shakespeare. And Kathleen Colbert. Uh, I'm not a singer. And um, <laughs> Tennessee Williams. Tennessee singer. Williams is coming in um, And, and. Yeah, he'll make a personal appearance. And. TPD. We're finally doing the musical. It's almost here. We're doing Assassin. We're doing Assassin. Which is so great. I so might be ASME, so I feel like I have like the best year in the world next year. I'm, because I'm thrilled. I'll be if you're a freshman and you're not sure if you want to be a theater major yet, uh, or you're not really sure what your involvement is and you really want to learn about the department, you can't do better than to buy a subscription. I bought a subscription my freshman year and it got me into all the shows and it made me feel like I was a part of things. And then at the end of the year, uh, I got an invitation to Dud's Ball, which was really exciting because it made me feel so at home and like everyone knew who I was and, and it was really welcoming and people really appreciate it when you do. There's a lot of benefits. Um, do you get to see all the shows? Yeah. That's I, I mean, that's that's the number one reason you get to see them all, but like really, like especially, I mean, I don't mean to get all logical, but like in, in this economic situation, it just makes fiscal sense. Like it's $30 for the whole season and the season will cost you 64 otherwise. So it, it and, and there's always a ticket reserved for you and if you're involved in a show you can give that ticket to someone else. So it like, it just makes sense. It also makes you a member of Duds, like without being a major or a minor, which means you get to vote in our elections mm -hmm. and in our um, award ceremony at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and it gets you involved in the department. Like I know all the subscribers, like I know who they are. And like, that means something. Duds Ball, oh, Duds Ball is the greatest thing ever. Duds Ball is this big sort of dance slash celebration that uh, Duds puts on at the end of the year for all of the theater majors, everybody who's involved in a show, Duds subscribers, um, and you get all dressed up all crazy and you just dance and party and have an amazing time. And it's also linked in with the Cheeky Awards, uh, which are kind of like our version of the, the Tonys, I guess mm -hmm. is what we usually call them. Um, where we, you know, give out awards to productions and actors and designers and everybody gets a mention, which is great. You know, every every single aspect is touched upon and everyone gets a minute to, to shine.
liked it. We love it. We love it. Um, I don't think I. I don't think I'd be doing as much grunt work for that.